Our first week's assignment is Leonardo da Vinci, so I'm going to do a few da Vinci drawings, talk about placement on the page, composition, uh, gesture drawing, contour line over it, but let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to do three of these da Vinci drawings. I've got, uh, I'm going to do three in a row and I'm going to do three on a page because usually I'll ask for about two on a page, about a half a page each. Sometimes there'll be I'll make an uh, exception and say, hey, go ahead and draw this three quarters or to a full page. But I'm going to try to get three on here. I'm going to start with this horse. I've got my slides right in front of me on my laptop. I've got my drawing board here. I've got it clipped. My sketchbook is clipped to there. It's not going to move. Okay, so I'm just going to start with a gesture. And bear with me. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to try to limit this to about seven minutes. I'm using a sepia uh, Derwent drawing pencil. And really lightly just blocking it in. I want to be able to move around the drawing pretty easily, just like a life drawing would be. Okay. Going back now to that sepia, I want to try to get some of this hatching. So mostly hatching with, um, with Michelangelo and da Vinci. Um, Durer was a master of cross hatching because he, he figured that out for his best for his printing techniques. So I'm coming up now on about seven, six, seven minutes. So I'm going to wrap it up. All right. And this is sketch of a horse sketches. of horse. So I've got one of these monstro heads and I'm going to sketch that whole head. I want it to fit right here. I'm going to do three on a page. So just start off nice and loose. It's a, it's a figure drawing. So um, I'm doing a gesture. It's a really fascinating story about how Da Vinci would follow these people around the streets and of course he'd, he'd exaggerate when he got home but he would have this fresh in his mind what these people look like and uh, just have fun with it. Kind of a unique nose, very round. I'm going to come back to the sepia in a minute, but I'm going to use this uh, Prismacolor pencil. It's a dark umber uh, because this is a pretty precise, a little bit more precise of a drawing. been about four or five minutes so I'm gonna wrap it up going back to this sepia nice and sharp and 
All right, so let's let's add some hair. Kind of have fun with that. Again, it's the spirit of it. You're trying to get the spirit of it more than anything else. If I want to add some value, I can come in with side of the pencil, which he has a lot of it here. But I still want to get some of that line feel. Okay, so that's about seven minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, Monstrous Faces. So this last Monstro, Monstrous Face, because they are in order, so I want you to do the same thing. So it just happens that's the way it turned out. This guy's very regal. It looks like some kind of a count. Be nice and loose and light at the beginning. So I'm using a dark umber Prismacolor pencil, and I'm going to finish it with black. So I'm going to come back in now with black. Sort of the lost and found kind of an edge. You know, that's why we're copying the master. He knows what he's doing. So it's not always the same line everywhere, same line weight everywhere. Dark umber and the black work really well together. And we're coming up on six, seven minutes now, so I'm going to wrap it up. Let's add a little bit of value. Monstro face number two. 